everyone, this video is going to show you how to create a GIF quickly and easily. So I'm actually mirroring my iPad just because I took my images on my iPad, but you can do this from a laptop, your phone, or whatever device you're using. All I'm going to do is go to easygift.com and then I chose GIF Maker. You also have other options, like if you already have a video and you want to put it into a GIF or resize something, etc. So you have like a ton of options here. But I'm just starting with the GIF Maker and I'm going to go ahead and choose files. So because I'm on my iPad, I'm going to go ahead to my photo library. I'm going to select my three photos that I just quickly took for this example. And you can see they're added right here. And I'm going to go ahead and select upload and make a GIF. Now I know my videos show up sideways, even though they are not that way in my photo library, but I'm not worried about it right now and I'll show you why. Now you do have the option to drag and drop frames to change order. So if I want to, I can change the order very quickly. And then as I scroll down, I have other options like how many seconds I want them delayed, if it's gonna be a loop count, or I like to keep it empty so it just keeps on looping depending on what I'm adding this GIF to. And then I definitely like to pick the don't stack frames option. You end up seeing what's behind it. Each one just ends up stacking on top of the other and it doesn't look nice. If you're forward thinking and you have a particular background that you wanna use, you can actually say, just use the first frame as background and that first frame would be maybe a background image or something that that you want all of your other images to be on top of. So once I'm done, go ahead and make that GIF. And as you can see, it populates. And yes, remember I said it was sideways and it looks like it's sideways here, but don't worry because you do have the option down here to go ahead and rotate it. Once I wanna rotate, it asks me how I wanna rotate. And because of how my images are placed right now, I'm gonna go ahead and say rotate 90 degrees clockwise and apply that rotation. And so as I scroll down, it's now the correct way. And so from here, I can then go ahead and save. I do have some other options like cropping, resizing, optimizing, and so on. But just for today's sake, I'm just gonna go ahead and select save. And I'm gonna say, yes, I wanna go ahead and download. And I wanna download the rotated one. And the one thing I want you to pay attention to, it says, please do not directly link to this file, but save it when finished because they will delete these from their servers. They don't keep this. So this isn't something that you can keep forever. As you can see in the beginning, I didn't even sign up for an account. So I selected download. And as you can see, since I'm on my iPad, it gives me the download arrow that it's right there. So I'm gonna select my download arrow and I'm gonna go ahead and choose. And now I have my GIF. So because I'm on my iPad, I wanna save this. I'm gonna hit that share button and I'm gonna go ahead and just save this into my camera roll. And so now I have my GIF to add to my Google Slides or something later. All right, so just to show you how I would possibly add this into my slides later, I'm gonna go ahead and I've opened a Google Slide in my Slides app on my iPad. And remember, you can do this on other devices as well. I'm gonna go ahead and put hit that plus sign and say image. And then I'm gonna do yes from photos. And even though you can't tell that this is my GIF, I know that it's there because I didn't do two of these pictures. So I'm gonna select it, select add, and then it populates right into my slides slides. I'm going to go ahead and resize it. And so it's just like a little fun GIF that I now have in my Google Slides. I hope this is just a fun little way to spice up or do some engaging activities with your students.